I'm from the Philippines. And I'm from Phoenix. Together, yeah, we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica. Chica. And we're here in the Philippines with a Philly. And some Joe. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Philly. And some Joe. We are doing a collab today with Cindy and John from Phil's to Phoenix. They are in town uh, from, obviously, Phoenix. <laughs> Visiting uh, back to her home in the Philippines. Well, we're in Pumalao right now, but yep. uh, she's come back home to visit with the folks. Yeah, there. Island over. We just they just popped <laughs> over for a visit. So yeah. <laughs> they're here in Pumalao to come hang out with you know the good people. Yes, yeah, good people, <laughs> awesome people. <laughs> and you guys do uh, a weekly series called Chica Chica, I guess. Yes. 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 It's a great little series. Everybody should watch it. Uh, why don't you tell tell us a little bit about that? Kind of cover basic things that are going on throughout the week for you? Or? A lot of us were just catching up with what we're doing throughout the week. Our channel's main perspective is kind of not so much marriage advice, but kind of yeah, tips. tips on how to handle a fill in relationship. Mm -hmm. And real life experiences. And, and a lot of that just. You know, what we've done and, and how we've gotten through dealing with Tampa, dealing with a lot of the <laughs> English idioms that, that aren't quite English yeah. idioms. <laughs> right, right. Learning the, the new pronunciations for words. Yep. Tomato, Fig tomato. Figuring out what Grahams are. Graham, yes. Graham crap. And perspective <laughs> about slippers and flip flops or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of it's just because the, you guys had to have went through it. That oh, yeah. Coming into the U.S. from Philippine culture, it's a huge culture shock. Big difference, isn't it? Very, very big. What did you find kind of on the major differences? Uh, I know food time. Yeah, was. the traffic. Uh, the organized yeah. traffic. Organized traffic. <laughs> That's the missing it's traffic of it. It's not the same here in the Philippines as it is in the States. It, it gets a little crazy. Um, lines on the road are kind of suggestions. Stop Here's signs. Yeah, exactly. Stop yeah. signs or babies. You had one? I passed them. Oh, oh, that's what that red thing was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. the Philippines are really good at organized chaos. Yeah. You've seen organized? Organized chaos. <laughs> you're, you're used to with chaos, but that's mm -hmm. the perspective. Oh, <coughs> you know, the chaos and organized goes together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how these people figure out who goes first at an intersection is beyond me. No, but it's like telling I, I just gotta, if that guy's brave enough, I'll follow beside him. It's almost like working a zipper. It just kind of all comes together with somehow. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. The, sure. Yeah, in the U.S., I, I can appreciate that. She still doesn't drive. Yeah, the no, the no, traffic no. terrifies her. After four years, we'll come up to an intersection periodically. Somebody will be going through, it should be in my lap. What, what I've loved is we're going down the highway and we get behind somebody going slow and she goes, we're just passing. I'm like, it's on a blind corner. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can't just tap the horn and be going to the Yeah, so that's been kind of interesting. What, what have you kind of really found, I mean, major difference-wise between here and the U.S.? Yeah. I think so. There's a lot. Food. A portion of food. Ah, yes, portion of food. I get a lot of things. You can see. Yeah, we like to eat. And big roads, <laughs> big roads too. The, the distance, the limitations, the boundaries. I feel like U.S. is always like three foot apart. Mm -hmm. Maybe one. Yeah, we have a lot more of a personal bubble. Yeah, like you have yeah. like personal space. Even standing yeah. in a line. Mm -hmm. You guys like to bump against each other a lot. I know, like That's elbow to elbow. That's the time I come here. Yeah. Is it the line for 7 Eleven? If you leave an arm's length, Something. there's going to be somebody in there. Yeah, they're going to be in there. Yeah. Agreed. And, and just dealing with that. Yeah. Her thing. first time at an ATM, I actually had to grab her and pull her back. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten drug upstairs going on to buses before. You know, come on! Uh, so, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's been very interesting. It's but, 
yeah, people will see, look at you from head to toe, like, why are you following me? You're like, I need my personal space. <laughs> and one thing I see too, it's so hilarious, like the bathroom or the restroom in the US, like, why is there so space, like, the well, gaps yeah, in between yeah, the door. Really now I have I have gotten that one on some other YouTube videos where where they're like, you know, why even have a door at this point? I can see you. <laughs> you can really see who's inside. But then you know somebody's in there. Well, I mean, your privacy is not really to be exposed. Yeah, yeah. And then one thing I I I guess there's so many things I observe, but I will just have like from my top seven or ten like asking how are you as well. uh, like people will ask you how are you and I, I feel like I'm telling my entire life story yes. for an event that day and only to find out they're gonna walk away because how, how, are, you, how are you doing in the States is merely hi right. yeah. <laughs> but in the Philippines how are you doing it's merely like you I want to know your family history yeah I do care about you I do care about your feelings and just Two Filipinas can meet in five minutes. They know their life history. Oh, absolutely. And best friend. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I love way back from uh, here last year in May. <laughs> she met somebody in the airport when we landed in Phoenix. <laughs> By the end of the discussion in the airport, she was performing their wedding ceremony in three weeks. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's good. And, uh, I love a lot of the similarities, though, of course. You know, we've got a lot of similarities as far as, you know, fast food places. You've got McDonald's and, and yeah. things like that here, Wendy's and yeah. Burger King and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 There are some Jolly Bees in the States. Now, we didn't have any in Kansas City. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix is getting their first Jolly Bees. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that's happening in Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond even like the fast food places, uh, the a lot of the music that you hear is that old '70s and '80s oh, yeah. love Very songs, awesome. and you, so you're. I mean, if you're of a certain age from the U.S., you're going to be really comfortable hopping into a cab or a, a, a taxi here or something or whatever, and, and, and go go to the video key, and you're going to hear all the old classics that you're used to hear. Yeah. Papa actually sings a lot of the old 60s music now for karaoke. He does really well. Uh, that's the other thing here in, in the U.S. And, you know, and the, the bars will periodically have karaoke night, but it's more drunk and catawalk. <laughs> <laughs> they take it serious here. Here, the, 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 you'll actually go to these karaoke bars that don't serve alcohol, yeah. but have got private rooms for people to do karaoke. Yeah. And that's, they'll get 10 people in there and have fun the entire night with singing karaoke. Yeah. 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 And that's a huge yeah. thing. And they can sing here too. I mean, it's it's not a, it's not well, doing a karaoke every once in a while. Yeah, you practice. Yeah, it's not like every once in a while you stumble across somebody who can sing. No, like, like eight out of 10 people here can sing. Of course, the other two, they're going to sing anyway. <laughs> but eight out of 10 of them are really good singers. Even if you don't speak English, but they can. Yeah, yeah, they might not be able to, you could not hold any conversation yes. with them. You put on a journey song, they know every song. <laughs> That's true, I agree. What is the similarity, you think? Um, One thing that you guys do that we used to, I don't know, being from the Midwest, you may have caught the end of it, you're a little bit younger than I am, but the town fiestas that they have here. We used to have the Fireman's Days, the Father's yeah. Day celebrations and yeah. stuff like that. And, and then, of course, you always have your state fairs or your, your county fair. Yeah. Right. You know, that, that's kind of and, a similar But that's deal. still done here. Yeah. The, as a matter of fact, that's what we came back for this time of year. That no, your town was having the time they, just, yeah, they have a lot more of them. That, that's the other cool thing, too. And, and this is something that never really was that big in the U.S. Is... When a house has a, the, the celebration during the fiesta, you'll have people, strangers, that walk by the house. Oh, come on yeah. in, we got this. Yeah. And Nobody's a stranger during fiesta days. Everybody's happy and celebrates together. Yeah, and you really don't get that in the States. I mean, you have your friends over for a barbecue. You, you, you used to have a like, sense of community that was a lot stronger to the in the state, Yeah, The barbecue but used to be out front, yeah. and now it's moved to the backyard. Yeah. Uh, Very much that's so. Kind of, that's kind of the difference over the years. And here it's not in the front yard, it's down in the town center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then whoever's having the, the biggest fiesta, the people just show up. 
Last year we came over in May to do a Mother's Day celebration. So we had not been around a long time. So uh, we came in May for a few reasons. And a big one of them was to do Mother's Day. Yeah. And we had a Lachampa boy. Yeah. Uh, we did a goat. Probably did half a dozen chicken. <laughs> uh, fish, crab. Then th we had quite a bit, quite a big spread. We, we invited a lot of family. We probably had 30, 40 people in family showing up. Mm -hmm. the By the end of it, there was probably about 200 people that came oh, through there. Was, yeah. the, the entire barangay, I think, showed up for a plane. Agreed. And, and th that's a neat thing here, too, is that th that's not only accepted, it's encouraged, and it's part of it. Yeah. And you mentioned one of the dishes that is, I think, a little bit of a difference is goat. That's just not something that you really eat in the U.S. Yeah. You get yeah. pockets in the Some U.S. Some places, yeah. but generally speaking, yeah. you, if you tell people, hey, we're roasting a goat, they're going to look at you like you're nuts. <laughs> but here, they're going, all right, yeah. can I bring my brother? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah, because where I came from, there was a couple people that had goat farms. More for the dairy than right. the meat. Yeah, right. yeah goat cheese. But you, you'd yeah. still have them do the periodic goat roast and stuff like that. Yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But yeah, they're trying to find it. And Phoenix, because we have such a heavy Hispanic population, they do go a lot more. That's, that is true. Right, right. I want to go there. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> they don't have as big of a, a Hispanic center in Kansas City yeah. necessarily. The goat in Phoenix is more expensive than steak. Oh, really? It's there, but it's kind of a pricey meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other one, we'll go back to similarities because <laughs> we're like, <laughs> yeah. we're going back to the, the different uh, similarities. One thing I observed too is the education system. Like, we're taught English here in the Philippines. Right. It's like our universal language. Yes, we have our national language, and this is Tagalog, but kids in school starting grades one, two, are taught in English, you know, because we're having the differences and similarities. Yeah, that's one good thing is if you come to the Philippines, if the person that you're talking to doesn't speak English, the person next to them does. Yeah, I mean, pretty you much. Can, you, you, can, yeah. you can find somebody within talking distance that's going to be able to translate for you. Yeah, unless you get in some of the really remote modern yeah. places. Yeah. And even there, one at four, you're, you're going to have to ask no more than four people to find someone that speaks at least a passable English. But then there is a little bit of, even talking about education, there's just a little bit of a difference with uh, what we talked about earlier was the uh, the start and stopping times for your summer breaks. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know, good. where in the States, it's, <coughs> it's June, July, August. Here, it's, it's like... It's your summertime. Yeah, okay. that's our March, summertime. April, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, March, April, March, oh, April and May. Well, yeah. all year round is summer. Yeah, yeah. well, it's yeah. always summer, but, but yeah. you take your... Your, your break <laughs> earlier in the year than we do in the States. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Yeah, we'll do, it used to be called Easter break, and now it's called uh, spring break in March or April. Yeah, somewhere around there. But they're actually in the school around Holy Week. Mm -hmm. That's, Holy Week is ours, no. Yeah, for Holy Week. Since we are like more of a religious country. I didn't, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, school stop on like before the yeah the Holy. Oh, when Holy Week started, yeah. school stops. Yes. Okay. I didn't know that. I I knew it ended sometime around then, but yeah. 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 I was yeah. Just, I didn't and then Holy Week is in that. between March. She's so, a teacher. Yeah. So. Well, it does. It, Holy Week does kind of move around yes. a little yeah. bit. So yeah. I but see. if Holy Week was that falls on the end of March or first week of April, yeah. then it should be before then school ends. Yeah. Wow, so you saw your year a really short school year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you just start up, do you start up, change your startup time at all? Or they just... try to like catch up and have uh, Saturday <coughs> classes to oh, yeah. catch up those, like, mm -hmm. especially if there's typhoon coming yeah. and there's no classes and they catch up those Saturday. They have classes on Saturday yeah. based on what I've learned. Before. See, and then we've got a good connection with typhoons because when we met online in uh, October, well, the end of October, actually the first part of November in 2013, we had just gotten to talking for about a week, and then next thing I know, she's back from school, 
tell me, oh, well, we're, we're off of school for a week. They sent us home because the super typhoon is coming. And this is this is Yolanda that we're talking mm -hmm. about. The, 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 yeah, Haiyan is what it was. It was called Yolanda here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haiyan is really what it was yeah. known as. And That's that was true. the big, the, the biggest one in history to that point. And that's the one that took out Tacloban, killed yeah. all those people up there, or well, actually up here, I should say, mm -hmm. like, now that we're here, but her being down in Mindanao, she didn't catch the full brunt of it. But that was that was what really got to me, was here I've just met this wonderful girl from the Philippines, and now she's gonna get sucked out to sea. <laughs> <laughs> so we spent, we spent that whole week talking online, and uh, doing video calls online and whatnot, and I could hear the wind and the rain and the typhoon and blowing for days and days in the background. There. So that's that's where our association goes. To yeah, you guys met just a little bit before we did because we met in July of 2014. Yeah, we got married on April, April 10, 10, 2014. Wow. Okay, yeah, so you were married just about a year. Yeah, yes. it was it was five months, believe it or not, five months from the yes. time. That we so, it was a whirlwind romance. You are serious towards me. Yes, believe me. They're like, are you sure he's coming for this? <laughs> I, had, I had to explain to my mother that I have met this really wonderful girl online. And I was like, oh, hey, that's great. Yeah, she's wonderful. You're going to love it. She's from the Philippines. And mom was like, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, I met her right before I got the dog. And she goes, you got a dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about the dog, too. Yeah, we have like a year, five months. Ours are six months, because we started dating in July, came here on January, and that's six months. So you're just, yeah. yes. And then the yeah. first time you came here, and then you got married. Yeah, the first oh, time yeah. we met in person mm -hmm. was for me to come here. So when we met the day Same with my yeah. other oh, story, too. Wow, yeah. Yeah. So really with, uh, yeah, so when he came also here, the following day flew and said, we get married. Mm -hmm. I got <laughs> here on the 12th of January and we were married on the 15th. Oh! <laughs> See, now they made us do a 10 day waiting period. Oh, yeah, because they well, do. You, you oh, turned in paperwork here. Yes. Okay, we did. did we had a, a, a church ceremony here. Uh, but didn't turn in paperwork, so she can come over on a fiance visa. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. See, we officially got married yeah. here. Yeah. I had to fly into Manila, go to the embassy, get the, uh, the affidavit from the embassies that, that stated I was not married. Uh, Senate Cinemar. Cinemar, yeah. Yeah, the Cinemar's from the Philippines. Uh, I forget what it's called, it's some affidavit you have to get from the, uh, from the U.S. Embassy. And then uh, I was there for all of about 24 hours, got that dealt with, hopped on a plane to come down to, to meet her down in Guzman. And we, <laughs> I, was, I was like the first one on the plane at that time. Because I, I had nowhere else to go, so I just went to the airport. And as soon as it was time to check in, I checked in and I checked in my luggage. Which means my luggage was the first piece on the plane, and then when I get down to Butuan, it means it's the last piece yeah. off the plane. Meanwhile, her and her brother and everybody are waiting outside and going, yeah. Yeah. Brother was, brother's like, you really did, are you sure you've seen him? Are you sure he's coming? So when I finally walked out, I went up to give her a kiss the first time, finally meet her in person, and I got, come on, let's go, we gotta go. <laughs> so you guys actually moved back here? Yes, yes. Uh, she came to the, to the U.S. in 20, uh, February. 2015. Yeah, February 2015. Um, second day she was there, we got three inches of snow. So, welcome! <laughs> She's never before seen snow. But uh, she was there from February 20. 15 until November of last year of 2018. So five years over there, and then we, we decided, uh, I got my knee replaced uh, a couple of years ago, and between that, um, I worked for a water department, and when I replaced the knee, it got to the point where I couldn't really kneel down to do any of my work. I couldn't climb any of ditches, I couldn't climb ladders, I couldn't do much of anything for, for the longest time. 
And so between that and, and some other little issues, a boss that I didn't get along with too terribly well, and you know, things like that, we just got to talking about it. It was like, you know, we've always talked about coming back here and maybe starting up our own business and doing our thing when we retire. And so, why not just bump up the plans about 10 years? And yeah. just, just, you know, I'm done making money for other people, I'm done working for other people. Let's just go ahead and take a chance and, and do our thing. So that's, that's what we're here to do. Is, uh, we are actively searching for a location to set up a, a, a small business. We haven't actually told anybody what we're doing just yet. Like you guys know. We, we're, we're, we're actively searching for, for uh, a location to set up for our little business. And, Eventually, we'll let everybody know when we get that all figured out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's time to let's just dive in and go ahead and just, just do it for ourselves. So you've been here a few times. You yes, have been, I, yeah, this, was, this is actually wife. my sixth time. What was time. your culture shocks here? Um, oh, I remember You're making it permanent, not having a return trip all. Oh, <laughs> oh, you mean when I came this time? Yeah. It wasn't so much of a shock since I I come here every year for the prior five years. This is actually my sixth time coming here. So I had a really good idea of, of what I was going to get into. Um, really, I'll tell you, more of the shock was, was the first time I came to the Philippines, period. And that was, of course, going to Manila, like I said, to deal with, with the embassy and all that. And it was three o'clock in the morning or so, and I'm in my hotel room. I had a... Uh, 7 a.m. appointment at the embassy and jet lag and whatnot, I was just simply not going to sleep, especially with the, the number of bugs crawling around in the TV room that I got. <laughs> and so I'm sitting in the window just kind of looking out at the traffic at 3, 3.30 in the morning there in the middle of the villa. And there's as much traffic going by as I would normally have going by my house at rush hour in the middle of the day back home, and this is 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm looking out there and all the noise, and the people yelling, and the horns talking, <laughs> and all the cars with all the funny lights all over them. I mean, they like to, like to light up their, I mean, personalized is putting it to a metal. They like to make their country. They like their rides. Yeah, they yeah. like their rides. And then, of course, the, you know, once the sun starts coming up, the roosters, you know, all that. That's something that I did have to get used to when we moved here. Was for about the first month, maybe almost two months. Oh, I'm gonna break that rooster's neck. We have one that's right over here. Yeah, that but roosters, roosters are like our soul. Okay, yeah. well, I was gonna break your soul. Or shadow. <laughs> it's always there wherever you go. It is. You cannot stop them. It is. And so it, it took a little while, but I finally got to the point where I kind of don't really hear them so much anymore. They're just part of the background noise. Yeah, when we were getting to know each other, still doing the online thing, she was living with her brother in Manila, Teriyaki, on a fifth floor condo. Near the airport. And if she had the back door open, that the area behind there was a construction yard and they were raising roosters. And on a fifth floor stinking condo, the roosters were so bad it made it hard to hear. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's just, yeah, the roosters are everywhere here. We have a rooster farm over that direction from us, and we have another one over that direction from us. And I can always tell when it's about 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so that's our alarm clock. Yeah, yeah. They start going off about 4 to 4.30 in the morning before the sun's even out. Yeah, because her brother raises the, the fighting roosters. Mm -hmm. And so there's 50? No, no, no. That's 80? Yeah. Out back? Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Trust me, they even go off at night. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. They're not quite as much, but yeah, they're there. Early it's in the all morning, night long. yes. Early in the morning, they definitely. They start their day at 4 30. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then they like to argue with each other back and yeah. forth across yeah. the, the way. One will set off the other one, that one will set off that one. So, yeah. <laughs> I've been staying at her parents' house for the last, since I got here. And the one thing that kind of unnerved me, uh, roosters, they're not a small animal. 
the, her brother was saying that, yeah, a snake came up and got one of the roosters last night. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, a big snake. My thought was, okay, you got snakes big enough to eat an entire freaking rooster? <laughs> yeah. Do I really want to stay there? Yeah. yeah, we're not it's used so to sort of problems, are we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You may have bigger ones in Arizona, but Missouri, it gets too cold for them to get very big. Yeah. Wow. The, the, yeah, even in Arizona, we don't have anything quite that big. No, not to eat a rooster. Yeah. Maybe Florida, somebody's letting one of their pet pythons go. Yeah, down Florida maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe down in the bayou somewhere. Yeah. Uh, when we got married, the, our, our house is, our parents are in the province. The, I've got a picture of it. Uh, I'll have to find it and post it this thing. <laughs> we were standing in, in our room the night we, we got married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's freaking Tuco. It's he about comes. 18 he, inches okay. long. <laughs> Just came down the wall, ate a couple of bugs, and left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He came in and kind of gave us a wedding present, I guess. <laughs> Just saying hi. Yeah. I, I remember being on video call with you one day. Mm -hmm. And we're just chatting away, and all of a sudden she's screaming. <laughs> I'm <laughs> screaming. Her, what? 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 And a lizard was crawling across the ceiling and fell on her. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, For a sure footed geckos are they do lose they, they do flop every once in a while. Yeah. 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 Have, you, have you heard of two come yet? Yeah, we have one. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's, there's the something one? right yeah, big one right here somewhere. Over there, there there's one that does, yeah. Yeah, I, they really do make it a sound. They are yes. sound very loud. Like five times. Yeah, you have to go. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes well, I say, do I win or not? Do I win <laughs> or not? <laughs> I really have to go. Oh, I win. I win. Yes. Okay, I'll win. <laughs> oh, somebody's talking about superstitions. Are oh, oh, that's that's so one good difference. Yeah. They love their superstitions. Yeah. yeah. And I am not superstitious on oh, yeah. very few things am I ever superstitious. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they see like what? Uh, I, see, I can't even think of it right now. Oh, well I, I would go through certain routines back when I was racing. And I had certain little things that I would do in the car before I would go out for the race just because it worked last time I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of superstitions though. I it's not so sweeping in the floor uh -huh. when somebody's got passed away. Mm -hmm. Or not taking a shower or taking a bath yes. when someone passed away. Okay. Or like and not, sweeping at night because yeah. your good luck like, will also go away. Yeah. <laughs> or, and you uh, have superstitions too. Oh. Did you jump at midnight? No. New Year to get taller. Sorry. No, no, I never heard that. Oh. Yeah. We have like I need but for New Year. No. I don't no more. Uh, I know that I will not grow taller. I stopped it. And also, our dad will have to ruin it. So you will get smarter again mm -hmm. each year. I'm like, I'll mm -hmm. never get smarter. For long life. For long life. Remember that next, next New Year's. I said too. Just yeah. walk up behind her and pick her up by the ears. Yes. <laughs> hey, it's just good luck. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey. Fruits too. What, hey? Just look out next New Year's. <laughs> I won't do it anymore. I stopped doing that. So. <laughs> you jump. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I experienced the jumping and look at was, my height is 412. No. Four two. Is there 412? No. no, because four you're not 412. <laughs> me all along. I am five foot tall. I am five foot tall. <laughs> and then she shows up in, in America and goes to the doctor and they measure her and she comes home all pissed off. They told me I was 4'11 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I asked the nurse, hey, where's the half inch? Yeah. I was rolling. You wore your short shoes. I was fine. Not anymore. <laughs> so I don't put Five now instead four twelve <laughs> because I'm not five. I was put four twelve. <laughs> 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 And then what 
is it that for the life of me, I'm going to kick myself, I can't remember, when you go into like the woods. Yeah, and the woods. You say, you say what, what's, what's the little phrase that you say? Tabby, 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 Yes, may I come in? May I have permission yeah. to come There's in? Mike, so the spirits don't get mm -hmm. me. <laughs> yep, yep. Might you kick or touch something, sleeping spirits there? Might, might you, might, might you run into? Yeah. One of those, one of those, uh, I, you know, in, in the States we've got this English-Spanish mix that they call Spanglish. Yeah. yeah. I guess this is Philip. Filipinish, I don't know. Taglish. 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 Tag Okay, so if you do that on your mouth when you spit, what do you yes. do when you pee? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen one. <laughs> Just figure that ass. According to the story. I yeah, thought about it. The filter kind of kicked in. <laughs> Filter's gone over here. Hey. You'll have to realize that about our channel. It comes out. Hey, I remember one day. I opened an umbrella inside the house, and you said, Yeah, that's bad luck. It's bad luck to not. open the umbrella inside the house. Not that I give up. That's, that's one well, of the things. Well, that's not a superstition here? Yeah, it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. So why did you do it? It's raining, <laughs> so I have to make sure the umbrella works. <laughs> she stopped doing it. She stopped believing your superstitions. I say, I stopped. Uh, we have a lot of them, like a lot. Mm -hmm. I get yeah, thousands of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's actually been really cool meeting you guys. Yeah, and being yeah, this has been awesome. We thank you hugely for the opportunity to come down I, and I'm talk with you guys. Oh, yes. you know, it's always good to get together with another channel and, and kind of you know check out the differences and and the similarities. Yeah, you know, too. especially being Philly on couples and, and you know. So, yeah, yeah. we love your videos too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you guys are cool. And sing. Yeah, yeah, sing, they yeah. got they got a great mm -hmm. here this one. They've got a great interaction on their channel, so definitely go check them out. I'm going to put a link down below for their channel. We'll have a card at the end of, uh, of our video to link to their video, and I guess you guys will put one. And we'll definitely have a card at the end of the video on yeah. subscribe and to link to his edit on this video, yeah. which ought to be interesting. So, to do. yeah, you can yeah. maybe see the difference in our editing on, on the two videos. And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think we're going to have probably another video beyond this one of some adventures that uh, that we yeah, take. Yeah, we actually went to yeah. Chocolate Hills. Uh, we went to a bunch of places. Yeah, we I've did done the, whole, I, the whole island tour. Yeah. And it was a really cool thing yeah, that, yeah. that you guys got to accompany us with yeah. and met Mama Papa and mm -hmm. her brother and sister-in-law. Yeah, and you've you. heard some voices in the background. Mama and Papa's yes. over here. <laughs> I have a chica chica a chica chica. Yeah, that's a sign you might be able to pick up on that one. <laughs> so yeah, we, we had ourselves a little adventure and run around and hit all the big major tour spots and had a little uh, a little adrenaline activity thrown in the middle of it that was really fun and uh, a little dirty. Oh, yeah. not, not in that way. Was, well, dirty. There was no like swapping or anything, so don't worry. We <laughs> <laughs> swapped for a little bit. The buggy. <laughs> okay, I don't even know how to do that. So, okay, Cindy. <laughs> hey, Cindy, what's your struggle being married to an American guy? Do you have any struggle? <laughs> I like that question. Yes. Okay, do you have any? Yeah, I saw. We're trying to shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, They're trying to end the video there. I Yes, um, sometimes he's loud. He's loud. Oh, he's impatient sometimes. Holy shit. <laughs> but he learns, like, I guess the first We time. are not impatient at all! <laughs>
allowed a vacation, but overall I have, I'm grateful I have an amazing husband. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. My struggle, yours, my struggle when we go to the mall and then I want him to help me find a pair of shoes, all he will tell me is, okay. Do your work. Do your thing. That is not a Philippine American thing. That is guys <laughs> shopping with women. Well, but I okay. want your idea. I, it you doesn't know. matter. <laughs> oh, cat. Hey, what do you think? Is this cute? What does this look like? What do you think about these shoes? Do they fit? <laughs> That's my struggle. Great. I want his approval, you know, because he's with me. Yeah. Oh. So he will just do your thing. And my response is usually, do you like it? Okay. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that because I he will always say, Okay, that's not good. Okay, that's okay. Like and then I'll just be a model like, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? <laughs> and then I'll just say, Okay, that's good. Oh no, that's not good. So, so but I'm now, someone by clothes and I so he's like my model. But now he helps me. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So I'm so proud. I'm happy. Yes, there's I'm definitely grateful. a learning curve to being in a multicultural mm -hmm. relationship. Without a question. Yeah, yeah. Communication, everything. But one thing, there's about food. I don't eat much outside of work. <laughs> he does. I never did. You do? I do now. I've learned how to appreciate. The, the fatty parts of pork, you pork know, belly. the pork belly, yeah, at home, you can cut that yeah. stuff off and, you know, you're eating the meat. Yeah. And now I all of a sudden I found out if you cook it right. Pressure. That's the best part of a dough bowl. If you cook it right. That's <laughs> what cause high blood pressure over here. That's what we... You cause high blood pressure. <laughs> okay, stop the video. <laughs> Okay. Mabuhay! Mabuhay!